Well, first, felt like that uh, didn't really nail the, the bottom part of the strike zone that he's normally does. Um, got away from him a little bit there in the, in the second inning as far as the strike zone got behind. Um, group of hitters that uh, they use the wide side of the field, uh, stayed in the middle of the field. Um, when he had to come back over the plate, they they were able to drive the baseball. But uh, that was essentially the the basis of of Chi Chi's night. It was a situation where it just didn't, didn't feel like that there was enough separation between the the, the fastball and the secondary stuff, and uh, didn't quite control the strike zone as as well as he we've seen him in the past. Six innings through 130 something last last year. Do you, do you want to give him maybe consideration that you guys did uh, with Mookie as well? Is, is that on the table? Well, we'll, we'll continue to, to to watch his innings. Yes, uh, we'll always maintain the the, the big picture with, with all of our young starters, uh, where their their innings are at, uh, where they've been, and where we'd like to take them to. Uh, that is, that's always the case. So we'll continue to evaluate that, look at that, and as we move forward. Jeff, you always caution the league punches back. And looking at the bigger picture of Chi-Chi's last three, what does he have to do to start throwing his counter punches, so to speak? Well, I, I, just like I, I mentioned earlier, it's a separation between velocities and, and really that uh, – when you when you stay around the same velocity, uh, it, hitters they can they can lock in on speed, and when they lock in on speed, they they look for location, and and, and so they pick a side of the plate and and they stay with it, and so this is a group of hitters over there that are they've been around for for a while, they they've seen a lot of different pitchers, and 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 so more than anything else, I I, I think and Chi Chi needs to continue to to work on on that separation with his, his secondary stuff, and and that'll allow the fastball to play up. Uh, it'll allow the, the 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 movement to play up, but also to be able to to keep his fastball location down and and, and let the movement take care of itself and, and get those ground balls. How is uh, Josh Hamilton progressing, and will he be going be able to go nine innings on a regular basis soon? Well, uh, we're going to continue to evaluate that daily, and and one thing that I, I I need to be mindful of is is how he comes out of each game, and and what he feels, and 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 so um, we'll let him get through this this evening, and and see how he feels tomorrow, and we'll make that decision, and. Uh, I mean, how he feels and uh, physically, and then uh, we'll we'll assess that each day. Chichi had two strikes in the count, only five hitters. Is what you were talking about earlier? Does that help him in that situation get that put away pitch, that third strike to put that guy away in that count? Yes, it does, and that, and that's uh, uh, for a young pitcher. That's that that'll be. Probably the next step for for Chi Chi is is he continues to, to progress and uh, he he and Mike have have continued to work on that through through the side sessions and he's aware of it and uh, will continue to work on it. Just for clarification, you took three players out of the game: Elvis, Mitch, and Josh. That was just because of the score and giving some rest. No. No physical issues. Took took Elvis out out of the game. Uh, essentially, Elvis has played more games than any player we have on the roster. So uh, once we got to a point and felt like he want to keep Hanser in, in, engaged in the game, but also give and Elvis an opportunity to get off his legs and Mitch the the, the same thing. Uh, and with Josh's case, we want to make sure that uh, that lower half and uh, so try not to to push him too far and we'll, we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Uh, 
I haven't checked with, with the medical staff right now how they've come out of the game. I, I, I know that uh, in Elvis and, and Mitch's case that it, it was more to get them out, out and off their feet. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't spoken with uh, Josh yet to see where he's at. Will you be okay in the bullpen tomorrow? I believe we'll be okay in the bullpen tomorrow. 